Um, I got this hat in Florida and I love it. Hey y'all, long time no see, it's Jess. Um, yeah, sorry I haven't been on YouTube for a while. Things, well, you know how the world is today, so. <laughs> but I'm going to get back into advocacy and uploading YouTube videos and to my Patreon more regularly, so I promise. So I wanted to talk about something today that hopefully will be encouraging to you because online stuff can be tricky throughout your life. There's cyberbullying, people who will comment stuff on your uh, like online accounts without like you even knowing who they are, who think they have authority on your life. Uh, there's like cancel culture going around which has its ups and downs. And so I want to talk about a concept that I learned um, when I was first discovering that I was autistic called inappropriate authority. So basically, we all have authority figures in our lives of uh, people who uh, understand us and respect us and they have the wisdom to tell us the truth about ourselves. So these would be people that have proved that you understand, that they understand and respect you as a person and they want what is best for you. Someone who does not prove that is an inappropriate authority. And what they say is not backed by anything but their own opinions and you shouldn't value any of what they say and just ignore them. Autistic people are constantly getting comments on their posts or on their videos. Oh, you're not really autistic or oh, you're just faking it, you know, all that stuff. Anytime someone says something that's blatantly obvious that they don't know what autism is and they have no authority to say whether or not you are autistic, obviously you shouldn't be paying any attention to them because it's clear that they they're just putting their own opinion out there. These aren't always people who intentionally come off as bullies or say things without thinking. Um, they, they might be very thought out and well articulated thoughts that they're giving, but they're an inappropriate authority because they're telling you things that they think is the truth, but they don't actually know the truth. You don't owe anyone an explanation so that they can decide if you're disabled enough to qualify for autism. Uh, when you're confronted with this kind of ableism, it could be bullying or people who just don't know about autism. But regardless of why, you shouldn't be listening to what they're saying because it takes so much information and processing and evaluation for even a trained professional who has been doing it for years to understand enough about you and get a grasp of who you are in order to diagnose you with autism. If it takes that much for that qualified a person, then it's not even worth listening to anybody else who has an opinion on whether or not you're autistic. No matter how severe or mild, quote unquote, your disability may appear as, it, like in the like on the outside, then there's always going to be people who have uncredited opinions about you, and at this point, it's over. Like anyone who says anything like that, anyone who comments on my videos, like oh you're not really autistic, it doesn't even make, it doesn't even make me have a like bad day. It doesn't. I have no emotion whatsoever at all because I know from a therapist and the people who diagnose me, my parents, my family history, my sister, my friends who have all said, oh yeah, you're definitely autistic. I'm going to listen to them, not some random person on the internet. So when you're confronted with inappropriate authority, people telling you stuff about your autism who shouldn't be like impacting your life in that way, who don't have the right to tell you what is and isn't true about yourself then make sure to step back and notice that this is an inappropriate authority, that you don't need to listen to it. If they're not uplifting you and supporting you as an autistic person, then you really shouldn't let them get close in your life. So I hope that this has been an encouraging and a little bit enlightening because um, it's something that I took a long time to learn. So I just wanted to share it with y'all. Um, that's about it for today. I'll see you guys probably next week.